Although the past is a foreign place, it's not so strange and so different that we need to put it into a box and set it aside. My name is Dimitri Nakasis. I'm a classicist and archaeologist at the University of Toronto. I was inspired to study ancient Greece in part because I spent so much of my childhood in Greece. My father's Greek. Uh, most of my family never left Greece, so a lot of my childhood was spent over the summers in Greece. I'm interested in the Mycenaean societies of late Bronze Age Greece. Around 1400 BC, you get the emergence of palaces. These are large administrative structures that were also the residences of uh, kings. We also know a lot about these societies from the administrative records they left behind. So these are clay tablets written in a script called Linear B. What's great about the Linear B tablets is they record the day-to-day -day administrative activity of the palace. So we have a very clear picture of the kinds of things that the palace is interested in. And the model I was using was essentially a bureaucratic model. The tablets themselves led me in a very different direction from the one I thought I was going in. So the old model was one in which society was largely organized from the top down. And my model is more bottom up. Um, the reason for that is that I focus on individuals, who they are, what they're doing, and to a certain extent, why they're doing these things. One of the most common types of words in the Linear B tablets actually are personal names. So in my textual study, what I did is I looked at all of the individuals that were recorded in Linear B tablets by name. And most of these people were not living in the palace. They weren't living anywhere near the palace, most of them. They were living in outlying communities that were connected to the palace. I needed to decide whether a man named Hector in this tablet over here was the same person as a Hector in that tablet over there. And in the past, most people had suggested that either we couldn't know or that probably they were different people. Um, but by looking closely, I was able to argue that most of the time, these are the same people. One of the insights of my own work is that you really need to look outside of the palace to understand how the palace worked, and that we can't just focus obsessively on the center to the neglect of what's happening outside. One of the projects I'm working on is a digitization project of all of the Linear B tablets from Pylos. So we're using modern photographic um, and 3D scanning techniques to get really high resolution images of all of these tablets, which can then be put online for scholars to use. I'm still digesting the news that I'll be a fellow, but I think it will be enormously helpful for me moving forward to be flexible about the research projects I design. Mm -hmm.